Hello everybody. So today in this video, I am one, trying out a new camera that I've bought. It is the, I don't know, Samsung MV900F, I believe it's called. Um, because it's got a flip screen, it was really cheap and I thought I would give it a go, see how it works for this kind of thing. Um, only records for 20 minutes, so I might have to do separate files. Um, but anyway, tell me how it is, how the quality is, um, how the sound is, more importantly. Um, because when I record on my phone, I literally have to um, import it into a thing to turn the volume up to then put it into another program to um, actually edit it. So if I can cut out that one step because it takes forever, that'd be great. Um, so yeah. Anyway, today we are going to be doing a video on this. Let's see how the autofocus works. Is there an autofocus? Does the autofocus work? Apparently not while it's recording, which is a bit crap. But anyway. Yes, the Kat Von D, what is it called? True Portrait Liquid Foundation, sorry, KVD now, isn't it? Um, yeah, this isn't gonna be a video about Kat Von D or any of that, it's just literally about the makeup. I don't care about the politics or anything, but yeah. This is the actual bottle, which is quite good. It is 30 fluid ounces. Um, this is in shade 002. Um, I got this really cheap on eBay and I'm not sure if it's going to be my shade or not. It might be a little bit too light, but I'll make it work. Um, so the idea of this is it is a powered, liquid to powder foundation and um, yeah, you're supposed to use it with your fingers. So that'll be quite interesting. Um, it does have like a ball in there to kind of mix it up. And as I said, you are supposed to use this with your fingers. So this is going to be quite interesting. So at the minute I do have quite a lot of breakouts. It's not nice. I have um, used all my skincare this morning. Not sure how I feel about the consistency because um, I feel like it does dry pretty quickly. It's quite nice when it goes on. I'm also going to be testing this today because I'm going out and we now have to wear masks legally in the UK. So um, I'm going to be testing like how it works with masks and if it rubs off. Um, I did test a little bit of this. Um, on the back of my hand like when I was downstairs and once it had kind of dried it didn't really budge too much um, when I was running it under the tap so it seems quite um, waterproof I actually don't mind this consistency I was expecting to hate it because I have quite dry skin um, don't hate it. It's not really sinking in to any creases or anything. It's definitely not a full coverage foundation. Um, definitely gonna have to use some concealer. I don't know how I feel about using um, my fingers with it. Um, it looks okay. I suppose once I've got my powder on it will cover up a little bit more. It's quite streaky. Like I'm noticing a few streaks here where I thought that I had rubbed it in. Um, it's not sticking very well to my nose I don't think. 
but no foundation really sticks that well to my nose. Don't know what it is. Oh god. You can definitely kind of squirt this everywhere if you're not careful, um, which isn't good. I don't think... No. Upon closer inspection, this is horrible. It looked not too bad from far away. But up close, this is horrid. Like my skin is like fully hydrated and everything. And it's, it's gathering around all the spots. It's, it's very, very cakey. It's not really covering that much. It looks okay from far away, but then when you get close, it's like, holy crap. That is bad, I cannot go out with this foundation. It's quite nice, like, on here. But like, around my nose and up here, it is vile. <laughs> I genuinely cannot believe that. Like, can I save it, like, with powder or something? Um, you know what? I know it tells you not to, but I'm gonna bang some on a beauty blender. That looks a hell of a lot better. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm gonna tell you not to use a beauty blender, but Jesus Christ. It's not, it's still not good, but it's a hell of a lot better than it is just with your fingers. It's still not good. But let me try it and put a powder on top of it, see uh, if I can set it. Okay, it's a lot nicer when you put a powder on top of it. Okay, so I have now set it and it's a lot better when you use it with a beauty blender. I know they tell you not to, but for me, that worked a hell of a lot better with the beauty blender. Um, use my lip balm because my lips are very, very dry. Um, I'm not sure Not sure how well this is gonna kind of work throughout the day, but it is already laying in the creases on my laughter lines, which isn't good. But yeah, it's actually quite a good match with my skin as far as I can see, because it, I am like quite white here. My face is a little bit redder, but like to match it with my, uh, my neck. Um, and yeah, I don't expect this to last very well with a mask on, but we will see. So yeah, I'm trying to look at the camera, not the screen. Um, so yeah, it's okay so far. We will see when I get home. See you in a bit. Hello again. So I have just finished my makeup and I have put on the hydrate setting spray from Primark um, it's still not great but it's better than it was see the thing is I find that if you touch it it just wipes off which is not good and I tried it downstairs and tried to wipe it off underneath water it didn't budge but now I'm like literally just touching my face a little bit and it is just rubbing off so Oh, I don't have high hopes for this throughout the day, but we will see. So I'll come back once I've been out and uh, we'll see where we're at. Okay, so I am back from my trip out. I have worn the Kat Von D True Portrait Foundation out and about and worn my mask. And it's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. I was genuinely expecting to have just rubbed off the entirety of the place where I was wearing my mask. Um, so it's gone from here, it's definitely gone from the very end of my nose. It's kind of rubbed off a little bit where um, the edge of my mask was. 
but apart from that it's a tiny bit rubbed away here but what I am gonna do because I always wonder this about foundation um, I'm gonna try and apply some more over it to see if I can kind of put it together um, and make it look okay again if I wanted to you know continue to wear this foundation and not wear like a mask or anything um, so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna bang some on my beauty blender which I'm just gonna okay so this doesn't appear to be working very well like it's still kind of patchy and stuff but generally what I would do if I was like fixing makeup where some of the makeup had rubbed away so I'd put a little bit on and then I would use my powder and kind of go in over the top of it and then see if I can kind of powder it on if that makes any sense and this is actually working surprisingly well okay that has actually really worked well so you can you can still see kind of where like things were but I'm gonna put some setting spray on it see if that kind of um, softens it a little bit but I don't know I'm in two minds about this foundation it has lasted quite nicely in the places where I'm not dry um, but where I am dry and where the mask has kind of rubbed against it it has disappeared um, so I don't know I might try it again without like putting skincare underneath it because um, I feel like that might have affected it a little bit but I'm not 100% sure um, I don't know so so yeah it's a, it's a bit of a weird one I'm not 100% sure um, I think if you have oily skin this would definitely be a good foundation for you but dry skin it does kind of tend to attract to the places where it's dry um, and I do think that applying it with fingers is hopeless I applied it with a beauty blender and it worked much much better um, so yeah that is the KVD Kat Von D whatever um, true portrait foundation again this is a shade light and I do think this is actually a really good shade for me when I first put it on I was like it's far too light but um, like it matches my ears it matches my neck really well so yeah I like the match to me personally um, but I am very very pale um, I don't know the jury's out I might do a follow-up on it um, it's, I think it's a foundation where you kind of need to work with it to try and find out what works with you and you know if it's for you or not but I'm really in two minds because where it is nice it is really really pretty um, but where it's dry and everything it's it's not I don't know but yeah I hope you enjoyed so adios